All right, so I am starting a new home server project. Right now my server is a small little cheap Techlast laptop. I'll put the specs up here. Uh, I don't know if off the top of my head, but I know it's a very slow laptop. But so far it's been working really well as my server. I don't need anything crazy and it draws very little power, which I like. One problem is if I have any uh, X265 videos that I wanna play on Jellyfin or something, then I actually have to convert them first to H.264 on a different computer because that tech class isn't fast enough to just play those. Uh, it, it can't do the media encoding on the fly like another laptop might be able to do or another processor. So I've been thinking about changing for that reason, um, but also I really wanna set up more storage. Like I wanna have basically a NAS, but I didn't really at the time want to set up like a whole NAS. So I was thinking about doing all my storage through Nextcloud, which is what I have now. But the more I started thinking about that and tinkering around with it, it's really slow to access from my computer. Right now I run like Nextcloud sync client and it syncs everything from my computer up to the cloud and back. Uh, but that takes up space on my hard drive from my computer and I would rather just work completely off of the cloud storage and have that be fast enough that I can do that. If I mount my Nextcloud drive as a web dev drive, <clears throat> it's super slow. So it's just not working for me. Um, so I checked out TrueNAS and after looking into everything, I think what I'm gonna go with is TrueNAS Scale it's Linux based versus TrueNAS Core, which is FreeBSD based. And the Linux base allows me to just easily run Docker containers right in TrueNAS. And that's basically a requirement for me. Uh, right now I just run everything on Docker. I'm not super into getting into the details of the server and setting everything up, up myself. I'd rather just set up a Docker container super easily and have it be done. And that's what I wanna keep doing. So that's why I'm going with TrueNAS scale. So right now I looked at the system requirements and it requires at least eight gigs of RAM, which my current server has, but it recommends 16. And I feel like my little server is just isn't gonna cut it. So I have my old Dell XPS 9500. And this is a quite a fast computer, but I got rid of it for, you can see the reasons for that in another video I made about it. I wasn't very happy with it, but I think it'll do well as a server. I hope that it's reliable enough because one of the problems was that it just shuts down all the time. But I think when it just stays on and I don't let it go to sleep and stuff, it's pretty reliable. So hopefully that will work. And I'm gonna install TrueNAS scale on that. And the main thing I'm worried about is power consumption. So I don't wanna be paying a ton of money every month towards this thing if it's just gonna be drawing tons of power. So I got this little power monitor that you just plug something into and it tells you how many watts it's using and you can measure kilowatt hours over time. And uh, I did a little test yesterday of just running on a GNOME desktop, not doing anything. And it was drawing like six watts of power which I think isn't bad. I'm not currently at my main server, so I can't test that yet, but I'll put that up. When I do test that, I'll put the little stats up or something. Um, but that's not too bad. So I hope that it will work well. And right now I don't have the whole storage solution I'm gonna get. So I'll make another video once I get that about my storage solution. I'm gonna do like three eight terabyte drives and a RAID 5 array and I'm gonna go with SSDs. It just, I really hate spinning Rust drives and I've had nothing but issues with them in the past. I know I could get way more storage that way, but honestly, I don't need a ton and SSDs have just been way better for me. So I'm gonna go with those right now, or I have one of these already. I have a four terabyte Samsung drive that I'm gonna go with in this external enclosure. Um, I was thinking about just getting three more of these but that gives me no room to expand because the DAS that I wanna get is only four ports. And with RAID 5, you need all the same drives or it's best if you have all the same size drives. 
So I'm gonna go with three eight terabytes. That way I can slap another one in there if it becomes too little in the future. After a few difficulties setting up TrueNAS Scale, I've actually really come to love it. Uh, a couple things that I love are just the applications that sit right there in the web UI. You can just install Docker containers from there and even run them from there. It's just really nice and handy. Uh, it's easier than going into the command line to do it. And another thing I really love is the VMs that you can run straight from there. Just open up the web UI in any browser on any computer and you've got access to all of the VMs that you've set up for yourself. As somebody who maintains an application on Linux, I really love that ability. It's super handy and nice. Another really nice thing is that there is a community app for TailScale on TrueNAS, and that just lets you super easily set up a TailScale network, and that is perfect for me as somebody who already uses TailScale every day to be able to connect to my server from anywhere on, in the world on any internet connection. It's really nice to have that built in. After setting up a few test containers that I would normally run and getting the whole configuration set up and setting up the hard drive, I only tested the one hard drive. Of course, I will have more, which will draw more power probably in the future. But with the one hard drive, my computer was running at about 30 watts at idle, a little bit less often. And that's not so bad. I can definitely deal with that. Now that I've tested the solution, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with TrueNAS Scale as my main server in my house. So I'm gonna be replacing my current server with this Dell and the whole setup I've got going now, but I'm gonna be buying three eight terabyte SSDs and an enclosure for that. So Prime Day is coming up in a couple weeks and I'm hoping to snag them cheap during that. 